Hey, what's up guys, Worldwide here. Hey, that was a heck of an intro, wasn't it? Nice tight 180 to kick things off with. So hey, before we jump into this video, I just wanna share a couple quick things with you. Now, firstly, when it comes to darts, everything's personal opinion. It doesn't matter with, you know, with dart boards, with darts, with dart weight, you know, everything is personal choice. There really is, for the most part, no right or wrong answers. However, with that being said, I do wanna say that, you know, myself personally, I have a really strong or really hard throw on top of that, if you see there, I use really small flights. So as a result, my dart is getting to the dart board in a hurry. And uh, I don't know, my darts hit the board with quite a, bit of fur, uh, quite a bit of force. So as a result, I prefer really firm dart boards. You know, when I'm throwing out a dart board, I don't want my darts buried all the way up until the barrel is almost touching the sizal. That drives me nuts. So yeah, as a result, I prefer a really firm dart board. So that's exactly what these three dartboards I'm about to share with you, they are, they're all really firm. Now, if you have a very soft, gentle, kind of like a loopy throw, these dartboards are gonna work for you. However, you're probably gonna to wanna to invest in a more aggressive dart point. Like these silver dart points probably won't work for you because you're gonna be losing some darts on the floor. So yeah, just upgrade your points, maybe a gold point, maybe a black point, maybe all those points with some aggressive um, designs on them, just designed to make the dart hold into the board a lot better. So that'll probably work really for everyone. So with that being said, let me get the first board hung up on the wall. It's not that one, by the way, but let me get the first board hung up on the wall. I'll say a few things that I like about them. I'll say a few things that I dislike and we'll go from there. So uh, here we go guys, should be a good video. Okay, so we've got the first dartboard hung up on the wall. Oh, and by the way, I'm going in no particular order here. I like all three of these dartboards just about equally as well. There's some things that I like and dislike about all of them, but uh, yeah, again, no particular order. So we've got the somewhat new Target Aspar dartboard. And I gotta be honest, when it first came out, I reviewed the thing. I didn't give it a great review. And um, I, I don't mind admitting I was dead wrong because this turned out to be an incredible dartboard. I mean, I, I'm not sure how long it's been out. I think about a year or so, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been out for a little while now. This board, maybe, eight, nine, ten months old, and uh, it's holding up. It's unbelievable how well it's holding up. I mean, look at it. You're seeing the same thing I'm seeing. I've thrown a ton of darts at this board, so the durability is way better than I ever expected. And on top of that, the spider, I'm not sure what metal they used. But you know how on some dart boards, I, I really won't name them now, but some dart boards, the, uh, the spider gets chewed up really quick. Not the case here. That spider is just, it's almost in perfect condition, which is unreal considering the age of that now and how many darts I've thrown at it. So yeah, the durability is second to none. Another thing I like about it, when I'm at the line, it's just easy on the eyes. The coloring of the dartboard, I really like, and the logos. So if you see, wherever you rotate the board, the Aspar logo or the Target logo will always be right on that treble 20. So that just makes it very gentle on the eyes. I think more of the focus is on the targets themselves other than having these huge stupid logos. So as far as the looks of the board, I really like it. Oh, another thing, I took my digital calipers. I measured only one segment. It is that treble 20 that we're looking at right now. That was 9.7 millimeters wide, which I think is just about somewhat normal nowadays. You usually see, um, segment size in the nine and a half millimeter range. I know a couple boards on the market right around 10 millimeters. So uh, yeah, 9.7 millimeters wide. It's, it's decent. That's a healthy size segment. Uh, what else we have? I guess we can do a couple things that I dislike about this board. Um, I would say the price right now today, as of the making of this video, $75 at Dart Shopper. You factor in $17 shipping. So $92 shipped for that board. Uh, I guess everything is expensive nowadays, right? But, you know, considering how much we use the dartboard day in, day out, hours at a time, I guess that's not a terrible price, but it's a little more expensive than the next board that I'm about to show you. So $75, $92 shipped from Dart Shopper here to the United States. So yeah, it's a little on the expensive side, isn't it? Now, the only other thing that I kind of dislike, and I'm on the fence about this, is the number ring. You know, we're throwing sharp, pointy metal objects at the dartboard. So um, the number ring is like a, it's a nylon or a plastic. So I'm not a big fan of a nylon or plastic number ring. However, I've had no issues with it. And um, the only other thing, the, the numbers are kind of on the small side, but 
not, in my opinion, not a huge deal. It doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me one way or the other. I know a lot of people don't like that number ring, so just something to consider. Other than that, guys, it's been in a, it's just been a fantastic board. I really don't have, overall, nothing bad to say about it. The plain surface met my expectations and actually raised them ten times over. It's been a great board. So there's my number three again, no particular order. The target a spark. But let me get the next board hung up and. We'll go from there. Okay, so we've got the next dartboard hung up on the wall, and you'll have to uh, bear with me there. That dartboard is probably four years old, so that's why it looks like it looks, although it is held up really, really well. So, yeah, the next one I've got for you, the Winmore Dual Core Blade 5. Now, this is where the confusion comes in. You're probably wondering, hey, wh what about the new Blade 6 dartboards? Well... I've had two of those boards. I had this one, the entry level model, as well as the triple core version. And in my experience, both of those boards were just way, way too soft. Now, this goes for all dart boards out there. They're made from a natural fiber, sizal. So they can vary from batch to batch. Some dart boards are firm, some are soft. It just depends on how tightly you compress the biscuits. So who knows, maybe with these newer Blade 6 dart boards, they just didn't compress tight enough. So I didn't like them at all. You'll have to let me know down in the comments section. Maybe the newer ones are a little bit more firm, but from everything I'm seeing on TV with the PDC players, the new Blade 6 dart boards still look really, really soft, which I'm just, I'm not a fan of at all. When my dart, like I said before earlier in the video, when my dart buries itself all the way into the board so the barrel is almost touching the sizal, that drives me nuts. I hate that. So yeah, I didn't like the Blade 6 dart boards. So yeah, that brings us to the Dual Core Blade 5. Absolutely amazing board, loved it. One of the biggest features of it is the rotolock feature. I live in an old house, the walls are crooked, so that rotolock feature on the back is nice. You can get the board tight to the wall, easy to rotate, and uh, the rotolock feature, hands down, in my opinion, the best invention ever to go with a dartboard. But as far as the looks of the uh, Blade 5 Dual Core, the logos, I gotta be honest, a little bit busy. It's not as easy on the eyes as the Target dartboard. But um, as far as the plain surface, the colors of the uh, troubles and doubles, and keep in mind, that's a really old board. It's a, it's a nice plain surface. Um, oh, another thing too, if you're wondering, I did measure that battered treble 20. That was 9.5 millimeters wide. I'm not sure what it was when it was new, but pretty much in the same vicinity. So yeah, 9.5 millimeters wide on that one, which I think is decent. That's a fair, fair size. Um, yeah, so as far as dislikes, there's one major dislike. I mean, the logos, I can kind of overlook that. But the one major dislike with this board was as it aged, as I battered the heck out of all these segments, the spider got a little bit chewed up, and I was experiencing a lot, or not a lot, but I was experiencing more bounce outs than I would with some other boards. So uh, that could vary from person to person. But yeah, the, the spider seemed to get chewed up a little bit quicker than I've seen on other boards. So I guess that's about it. That's the next one on the list, the one more Blade 5 dual core. If you can still find them, highly recommend them. So uh, I would recommend the Blade 5 over the Blade 6, believe it or not. So um, here we go. Let's get that last one hung up on the wall. Okay, for the third and final dartboard, I don't think this was much of a surprise to anyone. We have the 180 Gladiator 3 Plus dartboard. In my opinion, hands down, the nicest dartboard on the market. I've had incredible luck with, I think I've had two or three of these dartboards. Had the older models, this is the newer one. I've had incredible luck with all of them. They are a super firm dartboard. I don't think there's too many dartboards on the market that are more firm than this dartboard. And as a result, that makes these dartboards last an incredibly long time. I mean, you still have to rotate them quite often, but as you would any dartboard, but uh, yeah, I don't even know how, how old this dartboard is, but I mean, look at it. It's almost in perfect condition. Another thing with this dartboard, I'm not sure what that metal is made out of. It actually says right here, new high tensile reinforced sword edge wiring. All right, whatever. So that's a fancy name for that spider. However, I've thrown thousands and thousands of darts at this board. That spider is bulletproof. It hardly gets chipped up or chewed up. The spider is absolutely amazing. Hands down, best spider on the market compared to all the other dartboards. As far as the looks go, I think it's pretty easy on the eyes. Again, not as easy as the Target, 
Well, you got the 180 logo on top, you got the Gladiator 3 Plus logo on the bottom, and that's it. So even when you rotate it, it still looks pretty good. Um, I did measure, again, that single treble 20 segment. That one, 9.7 millimeters wide. So that's a pretty standard size for the most part. Not too big, not too small. So um, the coloring of the board, I love that as well. If I had any complaints, you know what? I really don't have any complaints. It does, however, some of the 180 dartboards, at least in the past, they came with a roto fix option to hang the dartboard on the wall. I'm not a huge fan of that. It's nowhere near as good as the roto lock feature that the Winmore board offers. Now, speaking of that, obviously that's my favorite dartboard, but if I was to create the perfect dartboard, I would use the Target logos. I would use the 180 plane surface with the Winmore uh, roto locks on the back. I think that would make for the perfect dartboard. But um, there it is, guys. Those are my top three all-time favorite dartboards. Oh, you know what? Another thing before I forget, I can't believe I spaced this one. This board right now, as of today, the making of this video, if you look over on Dart Shopper, and I'll have the links down below, $51.90. So, I mean, it's priced incredibly well. You add in $17 shipping to get it here to the United States. So you're looking at less than $70 for a dartboard. And matter of fact, I haven't looked, but I know that one, or no, not 180, uh, AZ Darts here in the United States carries that board. And I think it's like $63, $64 last I checked. So that may be the cheapest place to get it. And that's with free shipping. So I'll have to look after I'm done um, editing this video. And if so, I'll have that link down in the pinned comment as well. But there it is, guys. That's my top three favorite dartboards. We got the 180 Gladiator 3 Plus. We got the Winmore Blade 5 Dual Core and the somewhat new Target Aspar dartboard. Let me know what you think of this video down in the comments section. Let me know some of your top uh, top favorite dartboards that you've played on. Also, I'm curious to see what you think of the new Blade 6 dartboards. That's what I'm most curious about because the ones I got were horrendous. So maybe they've changed. Maybe they've gotten a little better, a little more firm as time went on. I don't know, but... Comment down below, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, if you got anything from it at all. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Man, that thing's firm. Later. Hey, what's up, guys? That's right down the middle. Beautiful. Uh, what's that called? Stacker dart. Oh, nice tight group. Hey, what's up, guys? I think they call me Mr.